CBC News, Calgary. The United Nations said today it will investigate whether some scientists suppressed their findings on climate change. Emails stolen from a British university suggest they might have done that. And with the Copenhagen Climate Summit looming, accusations and theories abound. Adrian Arsenault reports. There's no debate for those who live at the pointy end of global warming. This is the Nepalese cabinet meeting at Mount Everest, where they see glaciers melting at an alarming rate. And what about sea level rises? The cabinet of the Maldives went to great depths to demonstrate their very existence is threatened. They blame human activity for worsening their lot. Climate gate isn't an issue. But it is elsewhere. The climate negotiator for oil rich Saudi Arabia now says it will have a huge impact on the Copenhagen talks. Perhaps the dodgy emails were just the excuse some countries were waiting for. The leaked emails are simply giving an extra line of evidence to those countries which want, for political reasons, to delay any agreements over what to do about global warming. And there are quite a few of those. And there are more than we imagine. Thousands of emails taken from East Anglia University, leaked or stolen. Police will sort that out. The UN will investigate bigger questions. Did the scientists manipulate data and repress dissent? And what are the ultimate implications? So far, it, it looks very clear that there's no radical, uh, substantial change to any of the science that has happened, and, and uh, that's very important. For now, that's Canada's public stance, too, that potential misconduct at the university doesn't change the bottom line. The position of, the, of our government continues to be that we wish to see uh, reductions in carbon emissions. The devil will be in the details in Copenhagen, but the sinister is already here. Growing accusations the East Anglia scientists were part of a conspiracy. Others suggest the skeptics are the manipulators. Vancouver's Jim Hogan wrote a book tracing the funding of some climate skeptic movements and maintains the oil, gas and coal industries drive much of it. They've also been the ones behind what we call a confusion campaign that's been going on attacking climate scientists across the United States and Canada and in Europe over the past two decades. All that's really clear is that it will soon get nastier. Copenhagen is getting ready. Adrian Arsenault, CBC News, London. A devastating explosion tonight at a nightclub in